All right, violins and violas, final step. Once you've mastered the motion of the opening and closing of your elbow and the motion of your fingers along the purfling, you're finally ready to start vibrating in first position. So, with that in mind, set your first finger on the D string on E, second finger on F sharp, first position, D string. Uh, and what we're going to do is start nice and regular, just as if you were to play a regular old F sharp. The next thing we're going to do is use what we learned about the motion of the opening of our elbow and motion of the movement of our left hand fingers. I'm gonna put them together, okay? First thing, everything happens as a result of you moving your elbow, okay? Keep your contact points nice and intact, in contact with their right places, and watch what happens. Three things happen when you open your elbow, and you'll see what those are. Watch, open your elbow, and you'll see three things happen. First thing, wrist. As I open my elbow, my wrist naturally collapses out a bit, kind of like a duck bill or like a Muppet face, you know? Okay, that's the first thing that happens, is my wrist. Second thing that happens is my thumb, which is normally about right here, rolls back a little bit. That is okay, that is what we want. We want it to stay on the pad of the thumb, but roll back and forth as we vibrate. The third and most important thing that happens, watch, is the flattening of our fingers on the fingerboard. So as I move my elbow and my wrist back, naturally my fingers are going to flatten in the direction of that arrow, like we worked on on the purfling. So when we combine the actions, you get these three things. Straight wrist, never pushed up like you're serving pizza. You, don't, you never want that. Only straight and back like a duck bill. Okay. When I open my elbow, you'll see duck bill, flat fingers, rolled thumb. When I bring it back, you'll see straight wrist, fingers very tall like skyscrapers on the fingerboard, and thumb is rolled back. Okay, watch again. Different angle. See, all of that happens as a result of this elbow opening and closing. That is the motion. Once you've mastered that, you're ready to start adding vibrato in your music.